When nothing seems to make sense, trust God. Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your path straight. As a way of knocking us off our feet sometimes, it is one of the few assurances that we have in life. At one point or another, life will knock you off your feet. And this is something that happens to the rich and to the poor. It happens to the young and to the old, to all ethnicities, to people of all backgrounds. At one point or another, life will knock you down. Whether it may be in your health, a sickness that comes out of nowhere, and one year you are fine and now this year you are visiting doctors on a regular basis. It could happen through your marriage. You thought your marriage would last forever. You made vows to one another. You made promises to one another, but then life comes and knocks you off your feet. Maybe it is through the sudden death of a loved one. One minute they are here, and the next minute they are gone. And now you live with the fear of who in my life is going to be taken away. Life can knock you down in so many different ways. We live in a time when the unexpected seems to have become the norm. You get the feeling something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. In our personal lives, we often face situations that we have no control over. It is never easy to trust God when these things are happening around us. It gets harder to trust Him when they are happening to us. While we may pray for the faith of Job when similar adversities, or even though they vaguely resemble the adversities of Job, it becomes evident to us that we are nowhere near Brother Job's faith. Job was an unusual man, a very unusual man. I mean, Satan took the man's to the cleaners, but he still trusted in God. Have you ever come to a place where everything seems to be spiraling out of control? And the more you try to hold it together, the more things spill out of your grasp. What do we do when we find ourselves in those situations? The simple truth is that we must trust God. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your path straight. This message is for those who are going through difficult situations, painful situations. God, this doesn't make sense, but I trust you. God, this is painful, but I trust you. As humans, we are prone to try to figure out things in a rational way. We try to make sense of the senseless things that seem to just randomly occur. We must resist this temptation. But that is easier said than done. You must get to the point where you say to God, this doesn't make sense and I trust you. God, this is painful, but I trust you. God, I can't see myself out of this situation, but I trust you. God, when is this situation going to end? But I trust you. God tells us in Isaiah 55 verse 8 to 9, My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So I am here today to encourage you to do two things. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and stick with God. The opposite of Leaning on our understanding is to trust in God. During whatever adversity we may face, we are encouraged to rely on God. The term used for trust denotes to cling to. We must forsake our understanding and firmly cling to the Lord who knows all things. This is a call to confide in Him, to set one's hope and confidence upon. The object 
of our confidence is crucial since we are being called away from self-reliance. Our trust may be directed towards the Lord. David would have been in numerous situations where things just do not make sense. No doubt these were overwhelming. In these humbling circumstances, we must echo the sentiments of David in Psalm 61 verse 2. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Our entire heart must be engaged in this act of resting our confidence in the Lord God Almighty. We mustn't trust God half-heartedly as if we are reserving a portion of our trust for a plan B in case trusting God doesn't work out. God needs to be your plan A to Z. We must throw ourselves into the arms of God with an untamed, wild and frantic abandonment of self, if you may. God is all-wise, all-seeing, all-loving and all-good. We cannot afford to not trust Him entirely when things do not make sense. It is either God will remove you from that situation or God will give you the strength you need to overcome it. Don't lose heart in difficult situations. Remember, God will make a way. When we say God will make a way, what is implied is that God has solutions for you. He will make an escape for you, even in the middle of the toughest battle. Jeremiah 32 verse 27 says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? There is no challenge greater than God's saving power. This is a truth we have to always preach to ourselves to strengthen our faith. God has shown up for me in miraculous ways through people and things that I never expected. He has proven himself faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Rather than fret and lose hope, we should pray with thanksgiving in our hearts, believing that God will show us the way. Our challenges show us how weak we really are and how much we need God. This is how God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. God wants our total dependency on Him. He doesn't want to be one of our many options. He wants to be our only option. Call on Him today. Let Him hear your voice today and see the miraculous way through. He will manifest Himself to you. Romans 8 verse 28 tells us that all things work together for the good of those who love God. You may see a problem, but God sees a solution. God has promised us that no challenge can swallow us up. Do not allow the enemy to cloud your mind. I really want you to be motivated today, and there's nothing the good Lord cannot do. He has helped men in the past, and yours won't be an exception. Just stick to God and His word. He said, he will never leave nor forsake us. This is a great promise we should hold on to even in our darkest hours. Though our mountains may stand strong and the storms may rage, sticking to God makes all the difference as this is the sure way to conquer all our problems. Every time I am faced with some terrible situations in my life, when things become unsolvable, and when some things are pushing me to seek alternatives, I always remember these verses of the Bible. You and I are in the hand of God. God will never leave you. He will never let you out of his sight. Isn't that wonderful? The love of God for you is not based on your performance. It is not based on the color of your skin. It is not based on your height, weight or complexion. It is not based on whether you do something for God or not. God simply and truly loves you simply because he loves you. This is what should give you joy at all times. This is what should make you boast that you are loved by Christ and you are firmly held in his hands. This was why Paul could boast about not going away from the love of God, which also means the hand of God. Romans 8 verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Our tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. Paul was so sure that none of these things could take them out of the hands of God. You see, these people had faced many challenges, 
They had gone through a series of storms. They had been publicly disgraced. They had been persecuted in many ways. But because they knew what the hands of God are, they couldn't go away from it. If you know God and you know that when you are in his hands, nothing you are faced with in this life will be able to faze you.